Please note that this video has spoilers for the subject. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. A Million Ways to Die in the West movie thoughts. Now, I will start with the cameos. I thought they were a bit hit and miss, which I guess you could say is the movie in a nutshell. I thought the, the Doc Brown one was... In theory, it should be good, but as it is, it was just... It was pretty forgettable, I, I felt, and it's really a shame because Christopher Lloyd is a hilarious man. When yeah, I, I don't need to say. Yeah, that's that's yeah. And it's it's the kind of thing where you know if you're going to invoke Back to the Future, have a joke that is on the level of a Back to the Future joke, you know. The 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 Django one was fun. I thought I I do think it might have been, you know I don't know just some kind of little hint idea of of like I don't know maybe it would be explaining it too much if there was some thing about why exactly Django was shooting this guy you know that he was like an old slaver or something. Yeah. Now, actually, I suppose. Yeah. Now that I think about, it, because it's the it's the runaway slave shooting booth. Maybe that part was was enough for him, which which I really can't blame him. The I feel like Bill Maher was was a decent enough cameo. It. I mean, certainly it. He was basically playing his old, like his own great great grandfather, which was kind of cute with with the cue cards and the whole thing. And a little bit of his material was also good, but that's again not not really his fault. The the, the script. And that leaves what's his name? Maybe I'll maybe I'll think of it. Green Lantern, dude, you know. He barely shows up, you know, he's like, me, and he, he hasn't got a line, and he's just shot. I think this might be because he was also in Ted, maybe, and he certainly, I guess his role in that was also kind of a cameo. He certainly wasn't in very much, but, but in that one, he was hilarious. In this one, it's... It didn't need to be him, and really, when you give him such, he's a funny guy. He's a really funny guy. So to give him such a thanklessly unfunny little bit, yeah. Now, I guess that pretty much leaves Gilbert Gottfried. I love. I, I haven't really seen any Gilbert Gottfried where I didn't find him funny. I, yeah, he, he was he was a lot of fun in this one. He was one of my favorite cameos. And I think that covers all the cameos. I think that I feel like the 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 whole bit with I'm like in the review video, I'm just going to go with their actual names because I cannot remember the, the the character names. Rabisi and Silverman. I feel like there's a good joke in there with the whole, you know, she wants to wait until after they're, they're married and, you know, and he's like patiently saying... Some of it was really funny. I feel like whenever they 
when they brought it up, when they were talking directly about how the two of them don't have sex. You know, yeah. As long as they weren't directly talking about it, it was funny. It was funny to see him sitting there waiting with, with the little flowers and, and listening to the, you know, the perverted sex going on up there. And, I mean, the... I really like the bit where he's, like, you know, taking her out and, like, talking to her, her boss. And it's like, you know, when should I have her back by? And that entire exchange about, you know, he wants anal and 5.30, good. You know, I, yeah, I thought that was really funny. They, they played just right. And, yeah. And the, the reveal on, you know, when, when Seth and Giovanna is, or talk, Giovanna, I feel like it's Rubisi. I'm going to go with Rubisi. When, when they're talking and, you know, he admits that he hasn't actually had sex with anyone, and then Seth is like, you know what, it, it could be worse for me. So, yeah, that, that was kind of funny. And and certainly some of the it was it was mean spirited, but so was the whole movie. The bit where they actually do get together, and he's like, you know, he's not loving what he's seen. Yeah, that's really yeah. On, on the subject of mean spirited jokes. The ethnic jokes in this man just went all out. It really feels like the 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 ethnic jokes and the the gross out gags. They were just trying to go as far as they could in order to you know cover up that these jokes were not actually all that funny. So just force you to remember them by just how far they go. It's actually too bad because there was a little bit of funny stuff surrounding that. You know, in, in these jokes, little bits and pieces. When when Neil is like, you know, he's got the first hat and then he feels another bout of diarrhea coming on and he's like reaching out for the other guy's hat and the other guy keeps knocking his hand away. <laughs> If I were to be really yeah, pragmatic, I'd probably say cut it, trim it just a little bit. It, it goes on for a bit long, but it is kind of, it kept being funny. It, yeah, it was, it was really, really funny. And the, yeah, the pacing and the, the performances, that was, that was rather funny. And as I said in the review, the, the best jokes are easily the ones about how much it sucks to be in the Old West and on the frontier. You know, obviously one part of it is all the, you know, the titular million ways to die in the West. And it's also this stuff of, you know, a ripe old, you know, an old age is like 35. And, you know, Theron got married at you know, at nine, and they had sex when she was almost ten. You know, rounded up, rounded it off, or yeah, that was some of the funniest stuff. And the 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 bit where they're going over the, you know, what is actually in this miracle cure. You know, there's is there a shirt in this thing? Pieces of one. Yeah, and the. The bit where you know, like, the the people who had their picture taken, and they're like on fire, and you know the the you know the the other guys grab guns and shoot at them. I guess even back then the NRA were pretty single-minded about how to solve the problems, and the. I feel like that's a joke that they really should have made. I mean, that is such a uh, such a such a current. Anyway, yeah, the th 
I feel like the the stuff with Neil and Amanda. Again, in theory, it should be really, really funny, but it could be so much funnier. The yeah, they're they're kind of not. In a, in a way, it's it's too conventional. Like I said in the review, they don't they don't really go beyond the kind of kind of bitchy ex and excuse me the the douchey new guy and yeah it it just these things could have been made really funny I feel like it would be a much funnier movie if you removed much of the plot stuff. The the plot stuff is where the the real you know dead areas of the of of the humor are. You know, when if if we're just going by like you know, them going from place to place and talking about how much it sucks at that place you know the the they're at church they're in they're, they're at the fair they're at the hoedown something you know yeah those separate scenes are, are quite funny I feel like that first drug joke really wasn't that strong I don't know if it needed maybe a visual or the two of them should have just like gone you know went further in in their high or something. I mean, I mean that second one, while it again had its dead spots, had some really funny stuff. I I don't know why, but I laughed like a maniac at the the sheep with really long legs standing in front of this tall door going, We are the guardians of the future. I don't know what it is. I just I know it's it's probably not as funny as I thought it was just as I was watching it, but man, did that make me laugh. And the... Yeah, in general, the... The, the, the visions there at the end, it felt like it was kind of an excuse to fit in some material that they couldn't quite otherwise fit in Although the the tooth fairy bit was quite funny, but but yeah, some of it was just yeah, and and with a movie that's already longer than it it really should be, yeah, but the but but still, there was some 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 good material in there. I suppose that more or less. Covers it. I was really surprised by how little Neeson got to do in he barely had anything funny to do. Like he he went into this with you know, he did demanded that if if he was gonna do this movie, he he said he would definitely do a broad Irish accent. And you know, McFarlane agreed to that term, so he did, and certainly you can tell. And I, yeah, I feel like he wants to be funny in this, but the movie never really gives him any material to be funny. And there are so many funny bad guys, so it's really yeah. Some some parts of this just feel like they didn't really. I don't know, so some parts of this really feel like they were just hashed out in an afternoon or something. Very, very placeholder. I suppose that more or less covers it. I feel like the sheep should have been a lot funnier, like the 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 running gag of the Retarded sheep, for example, really should have had a lot more. You know, they basically there's that one time it's on the roof, and then that other time where he 
gets it to bring the, the present to her. And I think that might be it. And then there's there's that mention of how it got its way into the bordello and earned some money, which that's, a, that's pretty funny. And that was about it. And yeah, it just... I feel like there, there, there are opportunities with that, with, with the whole sheep farmer job thing, but they don't really take advantage of it, and it's it's really too bad. I mean, the scene where he's hiding out between them, that, that is generally just not funny, and the, the gross-out gang right there in the middle of it is, again, it's just... It's just kind of gross, but it's it's not really that funny. It's yeah. Now I think that might pretty well cover it. Yes. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.